Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raya J and I'm back with another video. Today is Saturday my babies. I hope all is well with you all, all is well with me. And I hope we all are continuing to stay about happiness, peace and love. And I hope we all are continuing to stay determined, motivated and focused. And I hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that Allah has for us. So in today's video, you already know what this video is going to be about because you read the title, you clicked on the video, so you already know what's popping. So, yeah, we're going to discuss some things, my babies. I have some things on my heart, and I was just thinking, like, girl, make this a whole video. Make this a whole video because people need to hear this. People need to see. People need to understand um and people need some inspiration and, and some encouragement you know for those people that specifically uh go through the same things that i go through or someday you will go through those things or someone you know is going through those things um so yeah let's just jump right into it so y'all know that i recently told y'all in my previous vlog sorry y'all uh, y'all know that i had previously I told you in my previous vlog that, um, you know, I have a new crush or whatever, and I was just briefly talking to y'all, like, you know, we like each other, but we take it things slow, yada, 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 um, we're talking, we're talking about a lot of things, we're going deep, I don't know y'all, like, this potentially could be the one for me, um, but, you know, you never know, you never know which, which, which way life will take you, you know, so... So, um, so I'll say starting yesterday evening, me and him, we were texting normally how we do. And, um, we just were texting all night. So it was literally like 12 in the morning. Me and Woogie was in here dancing, singing. <laughs> we was partying. You know how me and my baby do. Like we just got good ass vibes, period. So it was time for us to like settle down and everything so wookie was asleep i was just laying in my bed about to go to sleep and then um me and him we got on the phone so we started talking and the conversation was going really well y'all know how i thought we felt about each other and you know y'all know that i was like um you know everything is just going smooth everything is sailing along but here we go you know when you're dealing with a person who has a status of herpes and it comes that point in the relationship where you have to disclose of your status you know because you want to be like a good a good civilian in this life you know you want to be a real ass person so we started talking about statuses and stuff like that and he was like I'm clean what about you and I was like uh. so I started basically I didn't just automatically like jump out and say like I do have herpes I didn't just jump out and say that I actually started like giving um, a lot of statistics and I started giving like my personal story um, but not actually saying like I have herpes you know so he was like I I get you like I understand what you're saying you know but <laughs> but are you clean though so I'm like I thought you was kind of getting my drift because I'm like, I'm talking subliminally, but I was hoping that you would catch the drift. So he was like, nah, I don't know what you, what you're saying. He was like, I kind of, he was like, I guess you're trying to tell me that he, he was basically saying he don't know like if I had something or if I didn't because I was talking subliminally, you know? So I was like, <sighs> you know, so my mind just started oh god my mind just started going a thousand miles a minute y'all because just just me as to just me to just talk about my experiences you know I am 27 I've been dating for a very long time and every time you know I meet someone new and you know the time comes where you know it's not the first day that I meet the person and it's it's not we're not in a full-blown relationship but at some point at some point of us t talking in the beginning like um you know I have to disclose of my status you know because I don't want to um 
drag someone along and then tell them you know in my life I've had all different types of situations you know I've had situations where I've told people up front that I have herpes and they didn't judge me they continue to uh, get to know me and see me as a fucking human and see me for who I am and we actually a few of those people who I told in the beginning um, they didn't judge me and we actually went on to be in a committed relationship and then there is and then there was um a situation where I did unfortunately wait to tell um someone that I was dating that I did have herpes and he was fury he was so mad he was like yo like you should have just told me in the beginning like you so dope like I still would have fucked with you like you don't need to, you know, hold withhold some information, you know, because that's, that's serious, you know. I should have knew that from the beginning. Um, thank God, though, that that person, and he knows who he is, that person, um, because he had already, I, because I had already given him the chance to get to know me, the real me, and I didn't disclose that information in the beginning, he really knew who I was. You see what I'm saying? So when I did finally tell him that, which was like three weeks later, a month in um, of us dating and having like this full blown situation going on, um, he still wanted to be with me, y'all. He still wanted to be with me um, even after I told him. He was like, because you, you know, you just dope, like you special, you you know the type of person you are, you know, so you don't have to withhold no information like that, like, and if somebody really fuck with you, they're not gonna judge you, they're gonna still want to get to know you, if, if y'all decide to be together, they're gonna still want to be with you, you know, and then, um, okay, so, and then I had a situation where I did tell one of my exes that, you know, I have herpes or whatever, and they didn't care at all, most of my partners from the past um most of my exes I'll say not my partners most of my exes from my past I told them in the beginning and they didn't judge me and the relationship the friendship everything went on you know it's just unfortunate that sometimes you and people grow apart sometimes um you know this is not the person that God intended for you to be with you know so life just goes on um so yeah all right, so basically, <laughs> I had all my thoughts together, y'all, and now they just all over the place at this point, but we're going to get through this video. So I ended up, I, oh my God, I just felt so much anxiety on the phone with him as much as I wanted to just blurt it out. I don't know. I was just, I was holding back. Um... Because I really didn't expect the conversation to go there. I actually was trying to plan everything out. Y'all know me and him, we haven't met in person. Um, and I really wanted, because we, we was going to meet in person pretty soon, like in the days coming. And that's when I was going to go deep. And, you know, we was going to go, I was going to take the conversation even more deeper than where we take it through text and on the phone, you know. But it's... <laughs> the conversation just went there and I you know I'm not a lie I'm a very honest person um it's just you never know like when you disclose of your status to someone you never know um how they're gonna react you know you don't know how they're gonna react how they're gonna treat you afterwards if they still want to get to know you if they are the type of person who can even handle that type of who can even handle that type of conversation who can even um think of themselves as a non-judgmental person and a person who can see past a disease you know i am not my disease yes i have herpes um but i my name is mariah y'all know me as raya j like i'm a real ass person my name is not herpes you see what i'm saying so um so basically this is how it went y'all i hope y'all keeping up with me y'all keep up with me pretty well so i think y'all gonna get the drift in this video so um i was like well basically because i don't want to talk tell y'all every single thing so i can just say that i was like um he was like well just tell me because now you got me anxious like you know you telling me <laughs> you telling me all these things because i was like you know what people are so worried about 
COVID-19. Like you got people literally out here worry so much about COVID-19. Yes, we're in a global pandemic. COVID-19 is literally has literally taken over the entire world. It is literally taken over everybody's mind. And it's crazy that nobody's worried about nobody's worrying about Nobody's worrying about other things, you know what I mean? There's still STDs and STIs out there that you can catch. There's still HIV and AIDS out there, you know? There's still, there's your mental health that you need to be worried about. There's your overall health. And, you know, because of COVID-19, um, everybody's so distracted with that. And you should be, but right? I think you should also be aware of everything else that's out in the world, you know? There's so many other things. You can have herpes right now and not even know it because... Most of the times, the symptoms are doormat. They lay doormat in your system, which is why, you know, this is why I'm so, like, this is why I'm pro, like, safe sex, and I'm pro, like, go to the doctor, get your checkups and stuff like that, because you never really know, you know? Um, So, um, so... So basically, you know, we was talking about things like that. And he was like, you know, he was feeling me. He was going with the conversation. He was like, but I want to know. So are you going to tell me? He was like, I was like, I'm going to tell you. I was like, I just don't want you to, um, you know, because for as many days as we've been talking, I've been asking you, like, are you a judgmental person? Like, what type of person are you? And we've really been talking about the type of the type of people that we are. So I want you to really stand on that, you know. I don't want you to fold under pressure. I don't want you to see me in a different light I just don't want that you know if you're a real ass person the way you say you are then I think you should stand on your words so so basically I ended up um oh god I had so much anxiety on the phone I couldn't just spit it out y'all I couldn't just spit it out um so I was like I want to know your initial reaction, you know, when I tell you. He was like, because we was on um, Instagram video chat. So he was like, what you want? You want you want to tell me? You want to text it to me? And then I'll call you back. We was thinking about so many different ways uh, to go about the situation. And he was very, he was very um, comforting and understanding, you know, in that, in that moment where he realized, like, she is you really anxious like you really shy i was like i'm gangster he was like well you're not gangster right now just tell me so um honestly y'all i made it bigger i think i made it a little bit bigger than what it actually is because i couldn't just spit it out but you know for me when when it comes to dating it's it's so fucking weird this is why i really hate dating because you know not only do you know dating it's like you have to get to know a whole new person and you have to talk about yourself and you know people who talk about themselves and we're trying to get to know each other and stuff like that but i also have an extra oomph on my shoulder because at some point you know before we get serious i have to disclose of you my status you know and not knowing the type of person you are and how you're going to take that how you're going to react if you're still going to f with me like if you're still going to like me you know it's a whole lot of things that go into play when you are disclosing your status to someone but y'all know i always tell y'all like make sure you just disclose of your status like me personally i would never want to be with someone who cannot love me for who i am you know who cannot see me the real me and not see me as like I got herpes written on my fucking head because that's I don't have herpes written on my head you know I was 14 and my high school sweetheart unfortunately did not disclose to me his status and therefore when we was intimate he he transferred herpes to me and now I have to live a life with herpes so, you know, but I, all of this would, you know, and this, oh my God, it's really like a fucking big ass stigma when it comes to herpes, you know, people are so fucking afraid of herpes. My thing is like, you would prefer, this is people, people literally y'all would prefer to date someone who's a cheater, who disrespects them, who abuses them, who is not loyal versus date a person with herpes because you 
you you are too worried about what society has to say you know you too worried about what your family is gonna think what your friends are gonna think you know you are so you are literally consumed with all the things that society says about herpes that herpes is bad you don't want herpes you shouldn't date no one with herpes because of all of this you know oh this person was being a hoe or this person is dirty you know all those stigmas that connect with herpes yo i'm i hate them shits i'm not even gonna lie to you i hate all the fucking stigmas that are attached to herpes because we are not dirty we are not hoes look at me i was 14 and because somebody didn't disclose to me their status now i have to deal with the fact I, i have to deal with the repercussions of that but look at me Look at me doing better than the doing better than what the person who who fucked me over did to me. I'm doing better than that person because I choose to tell the fucking truth. I I choose to live in my truth. My business is literally on my YouTube channel. Y'all know I been did that video um telling y'all my story about how my high school sweetheart unfortunately gave me herpes. But are y'all seeing me? Uh, are y'all seeing me depressed? Are y'all seeing me down and out? Are y'all seeing me giving up, committing suicide? No, I have a great life. I have a great life. I love myself. I love my life. I love my daughter. My daughter is healthy and I'm healthy despite of the fucking diseases that I may have, you know? So long story short, y'all, I, um, basically we did it like this because I really wanted to know his initial reaction you know if he was going to be like damn you know because I've I've received so many different reactions before y'all I've had I've had reactions like all right so you think that's gonna make me stop liking you like I still like you I still want to talk to you I still want to get to know you and then I've had situations where people literally kicked me out their house when I told them I've had situations where somebody put their hands on me literally when I told them um I've just had all different type of situations so before me and him got any further in this friendship whatever relationship we um we are in I and because it came up in topic of discussion I was like all right, so we just basically stayed on the video chat, on Instagram chat, and um, I, I texted to him while we was on video chat. So then he was like, oh, herpes? Because before I sent it, I was, like, it's, I was like, and it's not AIDS, and it's not herpes. I mean, I was like, and it's not AIDS, and it's not HIV. And um, he was like, all right, well, that's the worst of the worst, so what could it be? So I was like, all right, I'm about to text you. <laughs> Y'all, I really did all of this, and at the end of the day, I felt so stupid. But it was it was a relief feeling when I when I did just get it out already. Because, all right, so I texted to him, and he was like, "Oh, you got herpes? That's it?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Oh my god, that's your reaction?" <laughs> For some reason, I thought you was gonna take it worse than that. So he was like, "Nah, I mean, you know, we're very real with each other, and you want me to be." You want my real reaction and you want me to continue to be real with you. So I don't think I would want to take this to a relationship, but we could definitely still be friends. And that's when I got quiet and I really just like shut down on the phone. And he was like, you all right? I was like, I'm all right. I just, I was like, I'm all right. I just, you know, I, I don't want you to judge me. Like, I still want you to see me for who I am. Like, I was 14, I was a baby, and my boyfriend gave me this disease, and now I have to live with it, you know, and then I started, like, just, because he don't, the way he was talking, it was like, he don't know too much about herpes, so therefore, um, that's when my, that's when my, um, me dropping gems and me educating him kicked in. I was like, well, you know, every two out of five people in the world have herpes. And you know, most people have oral herpes and genital herpes. I don't just, I don't have, um, both. I have just genital herpes. Um, and also I was like, do you know that you can have herpes and not know it? Because the most times symptoms don't show up. 
they lay doormat in your system. I was like, do you know that? <laughs> I was like, do you know that? I was like, luckily, you're not the type of person to like just sleep around. Like, he doesn't like sleep around with just random people, you know, have one night stands. He's the type of person that he needs to be in a relationship to sleep with a person. So I was like, do you know that you are very, um, you, you are actually really lucky um, in the fact that you don't sleep around because most people who sleep around and they don't really know the person for real for real that they're sleeping with you've probably already slept with a person that has herpes and because this the, the, and because symptoms lay doormat most of the times you don't even know it a girl a guy can literally have oral herpes and give you oral sex and transfer the disease over to you and because they don't have any cold sores you think that they're clean so to say clean i hate that word too clean we all fucking clean long as you take a shower you're clean you know what i mean you mean disease free so um and do you know that even though a person may not have any sores or genital warts on their vagina um, or on their buttocks, anus, and um, vaginal and penis area does not mean that they don't have genital herpes. You can have genital herpes and not show any symptoms. Um, so, you know, I just started throwing out all the facts out there and then he started to become intrigued and he was like, wow, I didn't know that thank you for telling me that I was like look at the end of the day I can't force you to be with me I can't force you to like me I can't force anybody to be with me I can't control people only person I can control is me and the things that I can control in my life so I'm very aware of that I was like I just want you to it was like three in the fucking morning y'all and we up having this deep ass conversation um I mean I like that shit but I like having conversations deep and stuff like that, you know, and invest in time and energy in a situation that you feel is worth it, you know. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. I did feel a little disappoint, disappointed when he told me, like, well, I don't think I would want to take the situation to um, a relationship. I think we could just be friends. Like, I'll still F with you. And I was like, mm, mm. I didn't say it on the phone and he, he doesn't watch my channel but if he ever sees this like I don't think I could be friends with you you know because I am I'm attracted to you I you know we don't know each other too deep but we know enough to where we know that we're very compatible we have a lot of things in common and even the things that we don't have in common those are things we can work through um so I don't think I could be friends with someone who dubbed me like I don't I, like that's not my steez like you dub me like you literally put me in a friend zone and you want to just continue to be friends with me I don't think that's gonna work you know but um basically we just ended the conversation with I was like look just do me a favor just when you get a chance tonight tomorrow whenever just do some research you know because knowledge is power and as long as you have your knowledge you have power you know long as you are willing to learn something new and learn more about a certain topic <laughs> then we will have one less idiot human on this freaking earth one less fucking idiot I didn't say that to him that's just me expressing to y'all nah but for real though I just this video is literally for my people out there that have whatever disease you have and you don't let it break you down you don't let it depress you you don't let it make you feel like you ain't worthy you ain't enough you ain't shit because those are all lies you're just trying to tell yourself you are worthy you are enough you're beautiful inside and out and we whatever diseases we have and we go through or whatever in our lives that we are not we are not these diseases we are who we are in our hearts caring kind selfless fun loving patient like literally like 
beautiful inside and out we're strong we're brave we're courageous like at the end of the day I, I do believe God does not make any mistakes and you know I had to go through everything that I've gone through in my life to be where I am today and I'm talk I'm not even just talking um I'm not even just talking physically like I'm talking mostly mentally y'all because if yo if this would have been five six years ago I literally would be crying I would have been crying when he told me that he don't want to be with me that he only want to be my friend I would have been bawling I would have been calling my aunt being hysterical and my aunt got to calm me down telling me all right Raya he said that then move on it's somebody out there for you don't get so worked up in the fact that he said that so what he don't like you okay it is what it is what are you gonna do stop crying and um I want to share those same words with y'all like don't cry don't get depressed you know life is still gonna go on at the end of the day there is somebody out in this world in this life for each and every one of us the key is to let them find you let them find you and and in the meantime in the meantime of them finding you and not arriving yet just keep working on yourself man keep loving on yourself keep doing the things that make you happy you know me I'm naturally a loner y'all know that like I don't have no fucking friends I don't hang around with people I mind my business and do me okay and I'm so happy I'm so happy in my life these days like I don't have no f boys I'm stress-free you know what I'm saying like I'm not going through any major like things in my life right now you know I am just grateful to God that he chose me to be brave, courageous, and to go through all the tests that I've gone through to come out and tell my testimony, you know, um, and to be real, you know. I am a great civilian here on this earth trying to change the freaking world, trying to stop the stigma that that because you're herpes that because you have herpes that you shouldn't be loved that you are not enough that you should just settle for less because you have this disease no 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 absolutely not all right so i want to just read y'all a few things that i found online um and we're gonna basically end this video i'm not mad at him i don't feel any ways towards him um i just feel like i can't be his like i don't want to be his friend like platonically you know what i mean and i can't force him to be with me i can't force anybody to love me um you know everybody makes decisions for their lives and um if he feels like I'm not the one, then I'm just not the one for him. I'm, I'm not depressed. I'm not stressed. I'm not going to cry about this. Life moves on. Uh, my babies, y'all know I got, yo, I got, <laughs> yo, y'all know I got niggas lined up trying to be with me. And it's always the one that you don't want. I mean, it's always, it's always the ones that you don't want that want you. You see what I'm saying? But the ones that you actually want did I say that right? It's always the ones that you don't want that want you. And it's always the ones that you want that don't want you. Did I say that right? Oh my God, that sounds so crazy. It's always the ones that... <laughs> it's always like this. Like, the ones that you really want, they don't want you. But the ones that actually want you you don't want it's always like that but yeah let's read um a few things right here so it says herpes is com common people often worry that friends and future partners will judge them if they find out they have herpes truthfully sometimes that happens people can be quite cruel to someone after herpes diagnosis however they're just as they're however they're just as if not more likely to be kind the truth is that herpes is extremely common genital herpes affects one in six people ages 14 to 49 
because how common it is most people already know one or more people with herpes they may even have it themselves by and large no matter how icky you may think a disease is it's hard to be judgmental towards someone you love if you find out they have it as for potential partners if they start getting mean you might want to ask them if they've been tested which is crazy because I didn't even ask him that he said that he was clean quote unquote I hate that word but I should have followed up with that like well when was the last time you've been to the doctor you see what I'm saying because you never really know and they and and most times doctors they don't even test you for herpes it's only until you get a symptom and you go into the doctors and then they'll diagnose you but they don't just test you for like if you be like oh um if you go in there and you're just like oh i want to get um tested for all stds herpes is not one of the stds that they test you for they test you for um hiv they test you for um chlamydia syphilis and gonorrhea but that's about it um so yeah as as for potential partners if they start getting mean you might want to ask them if they've been tested if they haven't they may have the virus and not know about it when people realize how common herpes is how often people don't have symptoms and that they could be infected without knowing it it makes them much less likely to throw shade you are not your disease. The next trick is not judging yourself. After you've been diagnosed with herpes, it may be difficult to think about anything other than the fact that you have a disease, but that's all it is, a disease. It isn't who you are. Remember, I was telling you that. One of the toughest things to remember when dating with herpes is that mostly it's just dating. Dating is an activity fraught with the potential for drama, pain, and heartbreak for pretty much everyone. Herpes is just one factor in the equation. With few exceptions, people don't date solely because they want to have sex. They date because they like each other and, and find each other interesting and attractive, which is which we both do we find each other both interesting and attractive but clearly this can pot- this can potentially be a deal breaker you know i think it's already a deal breaker i already put in my mind even though he told me he don't think that you know he would want to go into a re- get him into a relationship with me but then i was like look just do some research like if all you have to do is do some research and then just get back to me and just let me know what it is like but the fact that i got to go through all of this already um yeah i don't think he's the one for me you know because when i tell someone that is for me my status they're going to appreciate the fact that i was vulnerable that i was real that i put myself out there like look at me my babies i'm a badass bitch I'm a beautiful woman inside and out. And if you think that there's not women just like me walking around who have herpes or who may have other things, you are really kidding yourself. And guys too. Guys, listen, the statistics is most guys don't even go to the doctor. So how do you even know what you have? You don't know because you don't go to the doctor to get tested. And women, most women, go to the doctor and get tested and find out their status, but they don't disclose it. They just go on throughout their life and pretend that everything is will-nilly because they don't have any symptoms. But me, I'm a real-ass bitch putting my shit out there to the world, to people that I can potentially be committed to, you know? With few exceptions, people don't date solely because they want to have sex. They date because they like each other and find each other interesting and attractive. When those other things are true, a herpes diagnosis often doesn't seem like that big a deal. Right. So he probably was never that interested or attracted to me if this is such a big deal for him. If you like someone enough, herpes can just be can just be if you like someone enough, herpes can be just something you have to work with. Just like you have to work with a partner's snoring or their affection, affection for mornings. Be upfront well before you have sex. One of the hardest things about dating with herpes is deciding when to disclose your diagnosis to your partner. Although I generally try not to speak in absolutes, it's always better 
it's always a better idea to do so before you have sex. That way, your partner can make an active choice about what risk they are and are not comfortable taking, which is fine, which is totally fine. Everybody, they just don't have that type of capacity to take that big of a risk. And that's that's so fine. That's so fine, you know? Maybe he's just not that mature. Maybe he's just not ready to take that big of a risk. Maybe he it's just not for him. You know what I mean? Taking that risk with a person, whether he likes them or not, he's just not with it. If you wait to tell your partner that you have herpes until after you've had sex, the revelation may feel like a betrayal. You will have denied them the opportunity to make an informed decision about risk. You may you may also have implied that your herpes diagnosis is more important than the other things they find attractive about you. If someone is really interested in you, before you tell them you have herpes, they probably will be afterward They probably will be afterward as well. It just helps to tell them early. That makes it less likely that they'll feel exposed and or betrayed. How early? You don't have to do it on the first date. The timing really depends on the people involved. If you're worried how your partner might react, talk to them about it in a safe place. Hence why I was telling y'all that I really did not want to have that conversation on the phone. But I didn't want to lie. You know what I mean? And then I'm I'm such an overthinker that I even thought about like, let me just get it up, get it out the way now, and let him just tell me that he don't want to f with me no more. Because I don't want you to come all the way to my crib, and then we having a deep ass conversation, and then things just go where they don't really need to go. Because I was vulnerable telling you my truth, you know. I don't know, yeah in a safe place you could bring it up over dinner when you're getting near the the going home together phase or you could have the talk while you're out for a walk a walk or perhaps a makeout session when you do have the talk it's best to be straightforward about it you have nothing to be ashamed of and this is where i effed up y'all like sometimes i sometimes like in the past i've said it so straightforward and i've been so shocked at the reactions that i have gotten like okay and you think that's gonna stop me from liking you and getting to know you and then i've had times where it just takes me so long to freaking spit it out which was last night i don't know what was wrong with me y'all i was so freaking anxious overwhelmed shy uncomfortable but still trying to be real and still trying to you know put my big girl panties on and just get it out it was it was really crazy an example let me give you all some examples um example disclosure of diagnosis you can say things like this my babies for those of you who are struggling with dating um with dating with herpes you know you can say i like how things are going in our relationship and i'm hoping we'll end up in bed sometime soon before we do i wanted to let you know that i have genital herpes i take suppressive therapy and haven't had an an outbreak in a while so the risk of passing it to you is low still it's not zero so i wanted you to have a chance to think about it before we get intimate you don't need to respond right now when and if you're ready i'm happy to talk with you more or to just send you some information i wish i could have just said that but my mind was not there okay reduce the risk reduce the risk sex will spread herpes one of the things that scares people when they're thinking about dating with herpes is the risk for potential partners they're concerned about the possibility that they might spread herpes to someone they care about this is a legitimate concern fortunately there are ways to reduce the likelihood you will spread herpes during sex suppressive therapy for example can lower the risk of transmission significantly it's not just good for reducing the number and severity of outbreaks using condoms consistently even for oral sex can also make a big difference in your partner's risk condoms and dental dams don't just make intercourse safer they also make it less likely for you to spread herpes from from your genital her from from your genital herpes to their mouth and vice versa practicing safe sex is always a good choice and here's some advice for you people who if you ever come across a person that disclose of you their status this is some advice for you when your partner when your partner has herpes 
What do you do if it's not you with herpes, but your partner? Hearing the news may throw you for a bit of a loop. If you're worried or upset, that's understandable. However, try not to take it out on the person who told you. Being open and honest about a herpes diagnosis isn't an easy thing to do. It's quite possible you've already dated people who had the virus. You may already have it yourself. The majority of people with herpes have no idea they are infected. Hence, while I am so, go to the doctor, get your checkups, practice safe sex. It's your choice whether you want to keep dating someone after learning of their herpes diagnosis. Dating someone who knows they're infected at least gives you the options, the option of intentionally managing your risk. And here's some great advice for me that I could always use anytime, any day in my life. Because we need things like this, you know, us who are living with herpes, we need this kind of advice. So it says, the right person won't reject you. The truth is, some people will reject you when they find out you have herpes. To quote, a herpes support forum po poster, quote, dating with herpes can be stressful. However, if you do these things, then being diagnosed with herpes is not the end of the world. Talk about your diagnosis early. Check. Have information handy so that you can talk honestly about the actual risk and concerns of the disease. Check. Be willing to do what you can to reduce the chance you will spread herpes to your partner. Check. Numerous people with genital herpes and oral herpes are open about disclosing their condition. Most of them have active, happy dating and sexual lives. The truth is, it's so hard to meet the right person that dating with herpes makes it only the tiniest bit harder life after herpes doesn't mean life without love so i just really wanted to read that i just really wanted to read like that passage to y'all because i was reading it this morning when i woke up after thinking about everything that transpired last night and it really helped me it really helped me to just like reassure me and just for me to brush it off like I literally went into the bathroom got ready and everything and I looked in the mirror and I told myself like you're beautiful you're strong you're courageous like just because you have herpes does not mean that you you are herpes like no your, your parents gave you a name you are an actual person with feelings emotions and um you're you're an amazing person you know and regardless if you have herpes or not that should not dictate the way you treat yourself and the way someone treats you you know i hope that makes sense did that make sense and again there is literally so many people in relationships right now like like, like let's just think about it like i'm happily single like dead ass i'm stress-free fuck boy free i ain't worrying about a damn thing except me and my kid you know um so just think about it though so many people are in relationships right and so many of those relationships experience infidelity they experience no loyalty no respect they experience abuse whether the abuse is uh manipulation physical mental emotional spiritual and when when us right the herpes crew <laughs> When we think about ourselves, like we have all of the greatest qualities in the world that makes us who we are, great people. But then we just have this one, one tiny thing, right, that we have, which is we have herpes. Um, and then you think about us in relationships like we are we literally have the best relationships because we're not cheaters. We're not liars. We're not manipulators. We're not abusers like we are none of those things none of those things we're not disrespectful you know we are great people it's just that we we listen we had a situation the situation is what it is but we're not gonna let the situation get us down we're not gonna let the situation keep us down we still have a whole life ahead of us and we have to keep living it and we have to keep living it happily lovingly and caring caringly is that a word 
so yeah y'all this is the end of the video i just wanted to just have a one-on-one -on -one with y'all because i don't think i really had like a deep one-on-one -on -one with y'all and plus i know that y'all love when i talk about my herpes <laughs> so which i haven't done in a while so i hope you all enjoyed this video i love you all so much thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in my next video my babies peace and love bye and don't forget with or without herpes you're fucking great so keep your head up and don't let these motherfuckers have you fucked up you're a queen sis you're a king boo period bye and before i let you go i literally just remembered this one more thing i forgot to put in a video so i'm just gonna add it right here so the day before yesterday so the day before yesterday, I literally read my um, daily horoscope, right? And it basically said something and I was like, who is it talking about? And it's crazy how the things you read, the things you see, the things you go through, they all connect in some kind of way. So basically it said you could fall head over heels for someone you meet today but the downside is they may not be right for you in the long term by all means have fun together but if you are expecting the relationship to stand the test of time you may be disappointed baby if that was not Allah giving me a fucking sign that this person is just not the one for me you know and to just be ready and to be willing for that you know and don't fall too deep and don't get um just don't get too invested you know because it's not what i thought it was gonna be so yeah bye y'all we gonna end the video on this note pay attention to the signs man pay attention not, not this one this one read it you can fall you can fall head over heels for someone you meet today. But the downside is they may not be right for you in the long term. By all means have fun together. But if you are expecting the relationship to stand the test of time, you may be disappointed. Alright, y'all. Bye!